This is an overview of the process dynamics and control with Python course that's available on AICHE Academy. My name is John Hedengren and I helped develop the content of this course and then worked with instructional designers at AICHE to really tailor this for university students and also those in industry who would like to know more about automation and process control and system dynamics. Here's a little bit of an overview of the course and you'll see some of the content, the overview of what we're going to be discussing and the skills that you'll be able to get from this course and some of the learning outcomes. All right, We have this divided into three modules, process dynamics, process control, and then a lot of the theory and math behind the methods. So we've separated that out on purpose to give more of a practical understanding and a quick start to some of these um, to be able to get um, the intuition behind the methods before we jump into the theory and the math. Now let me just show you an overview of the course and some of the schedule that's available. If you want to the course is also available freely from apmonitor.com. Just go to the courses and you'll see the process dynamics and control course. Or if you want to take it through AICHE, then there are professional development hours that are available, as you can see right here. Okay, so let me go to the freely available course here on the right. It shows the different topics, the quizzes, assignments, and then TC Lab activity, the hands-on lab that goes along with each of the assignments. Now here you'll see quizzes. For example, you can just select it from the web browser. There's no login. And you can take it at your own pace or visit the modules that you like. Let me go to just an overview of the course and talk about how these three modules have been divided. The first one is about process dynamics. We're going to cover the top portion of this course flowchart and then for the process control it's going to be the bottom half where we develop controllers. Now the third part is the theory behind it, so more of the math that goes into the process dynamics and control. So let's come to the first module here. If we click start module, then you'll see the different topics that are here. So the very first thing we're going to do is learn how to simulate dynamics either with Python ODE int or Python Gecko. And you'll see Jupyter Notebook files that are available with each of these with instructions on how to get started and videos to help you along the way. Okay, so we'll see exercises and examples. And then we'll see some of these exercises here where it can help you get started. Here's a first problem. Solve this differential equation subject to initial condition equal to zero and then you'll see the solution and the graph if you keep coming down. Okay, I'll select problem two and similar thing you work on this and if you need help you can click see solution with the solution down below. Alright, and at certain points in the course you'll also get to knowledge checks now, knowledge checks will help test your knowledge, see where you are with your understanding of the content. Alright, so which input is not necessary for the ODEINT function from scipy.integrate? And if we select the correct answer and click Submit, then we'll get feedback that it is correct. And if we select the wrong answer, then it will give us some feedback on why it's incorrect. Okay, we can go down through these quizzes and other knowledge checks. So if you feel like you know a section, you can just scroll down through 
the lessons um, more quickly and then just take the knowledge check and then proceed through the course with self-paced exercises. Okay, this is our process control module. And I'll click resume here. We're going to come here to the temperature control lab. And this is our device that we're going to use to run many of the exercises. It gives a little bit more description about it and somewhat about block diagrams and how they can t show the flow of information. And then we're going to do the same thing with this temperature control lab. Okay and we'll show it in practice. So really the temperature control lab is taking the theory and the methods and then showing how they apply on a real problem. You'll also have knowledge checks in this one as well. I'm going to come to lesson 1-4. Alright, so we would select here from what element of control design best describes the demand for power from a dispatchable such as coal, nuclear, natural gas, or hydroelectric power plant. So we want to try to meet that demand. So that would be our controller set point. All right, if I come down here, we'll see what is not a role of the flow controller. So the one that's highlighted right here, which is the flow controller. Okay, and then I can select that answer and move on. I'll show you also module number three. This is the theory and math behind many of the methods. Okay, we've broken this out in particular because the first two modules are very hands-on, very practical, and then for those that are interested, this one talks about things like Laplace transform, state space models, or derivation, gets into some more advanced topics like second order systems, uh, graphical fitting, regression, and other topics uh, like stability analysis. Okay, so there's the overview. I'll go to, for example, state space models. It'll give an introduction to state space for multivariate system identification, modeling, and control. And then we'll talk about um, you know, things like stability analysis um, and uh, nonlinear systems, for example. Here you'll also have other knowledge checks. Okay, so here's something 2 times y of t in the Laplace domain. It would be this one, and we'll click Submit, and it'll give us some feedback. Now again, if you don't get it right, you can select Take Again and then you can select the correct answer. Okay, so that's the course overview. Again, if you want to do this yourself without going through the AICHEA course, it is available. You will need to get a temperature control lab. It's available uh, from this link right here. My browser even recognizes this link, it looks like. And uh, so if you open that up, you can come here and then get a temperature control lab, uh, get TC lab, and uh, you can get it from Amazon or a couple other sources. Okay, and then I'll just come back here to the GitHub repository as well. All of the files, the source files, are available here. Um, and I'll show you one other thing for those that want to use MATLAB. So. For MATLAB users, uh, there is also MATLAB source code available. This one is highlighted from this MathWorks webinar. We talked about teaching chemical engineering with MATLAB, Simulink, and TC Lab. And you'll be able to see all of the equivalent modules. So here, L01 is module one on down. So all of this is also in MATLAB, live scripts, and Simulink if you'd like to go through the course that way instead. And again, this is these are the topics that are available, um, online quizzes here that you can do uh, similar quizzes through this online web browser without logging in. You won't get a um, continuing education credit or things like that, but uh, the content is available here if you'd like to access it through the apmonitor.com website. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this course overview and I'd definitely like to hear your feedback on these modules. I really appreciate the the staff from AICHE for uh, especially the instructional designers for what they've done to take this content and make it available for continuing education and professional development. I know that I've had many that have requested that this content that we have on the website be available with some type of certification or credit option. So this is available and uh, it's available to ASEHE members, uh, graduate student members, uh, undergraduates or non ASEHE members as well as you'll see over here on the right.